Hello humans, we're going to have a look today at how to put a pretty pattern on something cylindrical or anything really that has a path that you can follow. So I'm going to um, first of all start by taking, this is a, first of all this is a 60 millimeter diameter cylinder with two millimeter thick walls and we're going to put um, an offset plane so that it is on the edge of the cylinder and that's where we're going to start creating our new sketch so open a new sketch and if I for example wanted circles um, maybe 5 mil diameter I'm pressing C for circle and then putting the diameter in. So say I wanted this pattern repeated around the whole circumference of the shape. Okay, not just those three, but all the way around. I could uh, select all three of these new shapes and I'm gonna cut into the cylinder. So I'm gonna press E for extrude and I'm going to put cut as the operation and it's going to B to the other side of it's going to cut to the other side the inside of this so let's see if we can do that um, it's, oh, it's not selected what I want to cut so that's why it's not gone through but if I select the profiles this one, this one this one Let's have a spin round to look at this preview. You can see that I've got my three holes cut. So I'm going to press OK. OK, so we've got the, the holes cut. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Um, to make this into a pattern, I'm going to go to Create, Pattern, Pattern on Path and the objects is what you want to repeat around the outside so I'm going to select this cut this cut and this cut don't need to hold anything just click them all and then the path I'm going to choose as the inside edge of the cylinder so when I start moving things around like that hopefully that will cut now you can change the number and the further you drag it Okay, the further spread out they will be. And you you probably just have to maybe do some calculations with your angles to work out if you want it to be nice and even. But you can see I've, I've spread all those. Now, they all seem to be pointing in the same direction, so we don't want that. We want the holes to be on the surface of the cylinder. So you simply go orientation, path direction, and you can see all the holes line up to the outside and um, let's just keep dragging this further around till it's about even I'm not really looking for accuracy in this but that's about even ish and then you just press OK and it will repeat that cut around the whole cylinder and you've got your pattern obviously you can do any shape you want to with that but I hope that helps with what you're trying to do and I will see you next time. Bye.